Hey, hey guys, how you doing today? Battlefist, welcome into another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, World of Warcraft, uh, the changes and all that stuff, and my opinion on it, and also answer those people that were asking me a lot, like, why the fuck you're on a break, bro? Why don't you make World of Warcraft content? Like, where is your World of Warcraft stream? And all that stuff. So because I was streaming like Call of Duty, you know, it was hype, it was lounge, everything was cool, and pretty much uh, I, I, I wanted to enjoy some more games. And I will tell you the reason behind that, and also we're gonna talk about World of Warcraft right now, and I want to know your... I want to know your opinion on it, and I want to discuss it a little bit with you. So in the next couple of videos, I will try to answer your questions, I will try to discuss through your questions from the comments, so make sure you let me know your uh, opinion on it, so I can discuss it uh, with you. Okay, so uh, that's the first thing. Now, let's move on. Guys, uh, I have a couple reasons why I'm on a break right now, or burnout with World of Warcraft, as many other people that I know from my friend list. You know, I was actually being stubborn, and it wasn't to go on a break until I really get the burnout, because, I mean, I've, I've seen my friend list getting thinner and thinner, and people are going to he even Heroes of the Storm, uh, and uh, from World of Warcraft, and I, I was wondering why, and then after playing it for, like, Two, three weeks, four weeks, one month or something, I kind of figured it out, you know. I got burned out too, and I will talk about now why. The first thing, okay. Uh, you know, I'm passionate about gold making, guys. My whole channel, my whole thing about World of Warcraft is m more or less revolving around leveling fast, uh, getting reputations fast, and mainly world, uh, gold making in World of Warcraft. So... When BFA was launched, I was kind of happy with it. You know, lots of uh, you know, uh, farm spots popped in, bind on equips here, bind on equips there, group up with the people, you get to, uh, you know, involve in uh, with the community, get into a raid group together, go and farm together and all that stuff. And, you know, I was happy with it at the start, you know, but then I figured, uh, you know, after three weeks or five weeks or 8.1 will launch and then these items will become obsolete. And unless they introduce a new... Uh, continent or something with new items that will be 50 item levels higher than these ones, then people will not like to buy them. So all these gold farms will die eventually, you know. So then I figured gold farming beside this, we have like mining and herbalism, same as uh, with the previous expansions and stuff, but it wasn't really impressive as well because I tried it, I didn't really got a lot of money with it uh, generally. And, you know, I had to do some stuff with phasing and all that stuff and I kind of couldn't be arsed to do that. And I didn't really felt that gold farming was a thing, so I, f I, I go moved over to gold making, right? So I wanted to gold make, give you the TSM guide that you deserve for TSM4, because you have uh, have asked me a lot, and the TSM profile that I've been building for a past, uh, you know, some time or, uh, or so, and I couldn't really do it, because uh, I couldn't use the auction house. I've made a video about it. If you want, you can watch it, you know, a couple of my previous videos probably contain that stuff, and they still haven't fixed it, you know. It's so easy to fix it, but they didn't. So I went to the gold making with auction house. I couldn't do it. If I do profession crafts, then what I'm gonna do with them? Spam on trade shit to sell them? Because on my server, uh, usually I use like medium to high population servers. It was completely unusable for like two or three weeks, and I got frustrated and more frustrated and more frustrated. And I tried to make videos about gold making because you've asked me, but how can I make video showing you something on auction house when the auction house doesn't work? Neluna. Right? How can I do that? Auction house doesn't work. I press record but button. I go on auction house. Okay, guys, today we're going to talk about gold making. So first what you need to do, you go and search on auction house. Type auction house. I wait for like 40 seconds for one item and I want to present you 20 items, right? So I need to wait around like 8 minutes and then record that. And then I either need to make you watch 8 minutes of stupid footage while the auction house is scanning. Or I need to spend 30 minutes, go through the pieces and cut here, cut here cut here, cut here, you know, and go and solve that with video editing, you know, so spend my time one hour or more of my life just because Blizzard do doesn't want to fix something that is very obvious and the community is talking loud about it. They thought that the fix they applied it works, but it doesn't. I talked about it in the other video. You can watch it. Let's move on. So that was the thing, you know, my main thing was, was gold making uh, and I couldn't do that as well. So that was, you know, okay. And then I, I, I felt like, okay, I'm gonna go into PvE, man. Doesn't matter. Gold making doesn't work right now. I'm gonna took a, you know, take a break from gold making then. And you know, I'm gonna give people something, you know, out of World of Warcraft content. Let's go and do PvE. But you see, I didn't like the Azerite system at all. You know, 
I mean, I could probably like cover my eyes and take the piece and put it on me and, you know, and then stack some trades and then these trades doesn't stack, but they, they stack, but they're bugged. And then, you know, like a lot of things were happening back then with Azerite and all that. I wanted to make video guide about it, but they couldn't even like comprehend all the shit that was happening around. So I was like, okay, fuck PV, then let's go PVP. And then I couldn't find team. Uh, and I kind of got also there frustrated a little bit. So I'm not really putting the blame all on World of Warcraft, you know. Maybe I was also burned out from World of Warcraft. Uh, maybe I wanted to uh, do something else as well. However, I really wasn't enjoying the new expansion. Uh, in the ways that I thought I will be because I was playing beta and I enjoyed beta but I was expecting all those bugs and things to, to be there in order for me to report them so they can fix them however, nothing of that was fixed so I got kinda, you know like, why would I spend my, my time on something that I cannot, I don't enjoy and give people something that is like partial where I can like, you know do something else that I enjoy and you know people can be with me maybe or not, you know but anyway guys I just paid my subscription back. I'm happy to go back into World of Warcraft. I think that the auction house is a little bit better now. And I think that I can actually start making some gold con uh, content and all that stuff. Uh, so tell me what you think about these things uh, down below, right? Because I really want to know your, your opinion, you know. And the third thing is really big something that I want to discuss with you guys. What do you think about the changes that is happening right now in World of Warcraft? That's the main thing that I want to talk about in this video. What do you think about the changes, you know? Because changes are becoming like so uh, aggressive with the game that I feel like people cannot keep track, you know, like I need to make guys about really fundamental things ba uh, right now. Uh, like they remove systems that are working with systems that are not really that much, you know, like, okay, we got the artifacts uh, in, in Legion, right? We, we've learned all the system with traits and all that stuff. And then we got some, still we got some item sets and all, that, you know, like, people kind of learned the way around it and they, they, they weren't complaining that much except for the grind of the Azerite, uh, I mean, of the artifact power, right? And then they learned that stuff and then we go into new expansion, we say, okay, artifact doesn't work, we don't like it anymore, let's just cross that over, we're gonna put you regular weapons, but we're gonna complicate your gear a little bit, we're gonna put Azerite traits instead, instead on your head, shoulders and chest, we will not have item sets anymore, even though people like it. Uh, we're gonna put some traits in this that will not really work. You're gonna have reforges and stuff that will ramp up. And then we have, like, combinations. This trait stacks. This trait doesn't stack. So all of those changes are, like, unnecessary learning curve on something that doesn't need to be a learning curve. You know, you find a nice gearing system, keep it. If people want to, you to change something, then people wanted, uh, you know, wanted reforged, uh, reforging for a while back. And they didn't got it. And uh, they, instead of reforging, we got traits that you can reforge, but it doesn't matter. So, you know, it, it's really overcomplicating the game a lot. And, uh, you know, for a player that wants to just have consistent playing and not really have to learn new systems that are buggy as fuck, you know, because they spend a whole expansion uh, developing and balancing the artifact weapons, right? And they, they remove the weapons, they, they, they completely make something new that is, again, another, like, milestone to go through we need to fix all the bugs we need to find the balance this trade works so the first three months is basically we're like lab rats okay we're gonna throw a system at you and you're gonna have to test for the three uh t pay, you know pay us 50 euros for expansion that we're gonna give you a uh, buggy items buggy gear that you need to test for us we optimize them and then after three months maybe everything will be good maybe not you know with the hopefully with the 8.1 they will fix something right so that's what i'm trying to say guys uh, a lot of the things that uh, are coming into the game are just changes that people don't want to, to, to be changed. You know, like, the old talent system, no one wants to be changed. Like, people are so far, I mean, still crying for it. Yeah, the casuals would like the new system because it's three buttons. Okay, one, two, one, two, 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 one, two, or one, two, 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 one, two, one, you know, or whatever, right? So, they, they it's like six talents, they don't have to worry about it, but the... Uh, People that really enjoyed the game, they want the variety of the talent system. Like, why did you change the fuck you changed that? You know, they they changed something that I mean that was completely okay with the people, it, and it didn't bring anything new with the new talent system. What simplicity? Who wants simplicity? We want choices, right? So I want to transform my protection paladin into healing protection paladin or DPS protection paladin. You know, right now, you know that's what I'm trying to say. 
the changes in this game are becoming too aggressive and sometimes people like me are getting burnt out of it you know like why i have to do that like why i have to go through all these changes i didn't ask for it 80 percent of the community didn't ask for it like a lot of people that are coming on my stream are also burnt out from WoW and they're joining my Call of Duty adventures or League of Legends adventures or whatever that I'm doing at the stream uh, when I'm not playing World of Warcraft, right? Because people are getting burnt out, like all of my friend list is getting thinner and thinner. I'm not, I, I'm not making video to cry, guys. I'm telling you how currently uh, the world around World of Warcraft is uh, around me, you know, like how can I, like how can I say? how I perceive the World of Warcraft community around, because that is what community is giving me as a feedback. My friend list, the stream, uh, the Discord and all that stuff uh, is currently like, that's what, what I'm getting as feedback and that's how I feel as well. I'm not empath when it comes to game. I, I went through the hardest times of World of Draenor and playing it with pleasure when everyone was crying about it, you know, like, I'm not going uh, in, into like a dramatic scenario for World of Warcraft, uh, tragic, I'm depressed or whatever, no. You know, I'm not fucking depressed, I, I don't get that shit. Uh, what I'm trying to say is currently the game is a, in, a ba in a bad shape where I don't feel like my time investing in the game as much as I was doing before, it's not worth. I would rather invest in something that I enjoy more. You know, whether the community will follow or not, doesn't matter. I will still do the one or two videos a week from World of Warcraft on this YouTube channel, as always. <coughs> but I will... <coughs> but since I want to give you a lot more... I want to do some other stuffs as well, so you know, I want to probably post some other uh, games as well. I made some Call of Duty fuck, uh, bug fix, fuck bigs, what? Uh, bu bug fix uh, previously, and I wanted to just, you know, uh, announce that thing with like other games I'll probably post as well. But you know, if you if you don't like to watch the other games of the channel, you can don't, you know, you can skip them. You don't have to like go and open the video notification, watch it. You know, if it's not World of Warcraft, you don't have to watch it. However, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I just want to take some stuff out of my chest. I want to see what you think about it. The next videos I send on the start will be about me replying to your comments and see what you think about it, discussing it through. I really want to know what the people are feeling about this expansion. And hopefully some of these videos or some of these things will go through with the community managers. So maybe they will hear uh, them and we will fix some stuff. Anyway, guys. I'm hyped about World of Warcraft Classic, but probably next video I will talk about that as well. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. See you guys in the next one. Like the video. Barofist and talk to you guys. Umren off and...